There may be no human players on the pitch, but this fast-paced football match is just as exciting as the human version. The robot players use infrared sensors to detect the ball and were designed by secondary students. I built this robot, designed it and wrote the program, so it is just like my child. The robots are fast and agile, and it is all down to the way they were programmed and assembled by students at Changsha Wan Catholic Secondary School. It is a partner school under the Enriched IT program in secondary schools, which receives funding to implement the initiative for eight school years. In addition to robotics, the students learn how to design an unmanned aircraft system. Uh, they are not just uh, learning how to operate in the system. They are also learning how to uh, assemble a, a, a machine. And uh, during the process, they have to apply their knowledge in physics, in math, and even engineering. And they have to solder, soldering those uh, electronic parts of the uh, machines. And uh, other than that, they have to program the machine to, in order to operate, uh, to control the machine. St. Paul's Convent School in Causeway Bay is also a partner school under the program. These secondary two students are designing a game using the coding application Scratch. We've made this um, little game using Scratch, um, which is um, about a virtual pet. So you, you have to take care of your pet, you have to um, feed him and um, take care of him, play with him and um, take care of him, basically. But when I found out that I could write apps and uh, games so easily, my confidence has actually grown a lot. And I actually started to like IT a lot. I, I found out that it's a really fun thing. I thought IT was completely boring. So at first, you know, I said, oh, IT, it's boy stuff. I, I don't need to learn that. But actually, you know, once I took up apps development as, as my bridging course in Form 1, it's really interesting, and I actually felt kind of smart using it. You know, like, I can make apps. I can manipulate the computer to do things I wanted to do. I, I felt powerful. I felt like I actually ha now have a possibility in, in, in an IT career. Financial Secretary John Sung announced in his last budget plans to incorporate IT enrichment programs in secondary schools, which are outstanding in IT education. $75 million in funding is provided to implement the initiative from secondary two to six to develop students' interest and curiosity in the subject. We're trying to be careful to not present it as the dry academic subject it sometimes is. It's really something practical, it's something that they do and they make real products and they have, they have ownership over what they do. We give them the tools but the whole course over the next four years is very much structured around giving them the opportunity to decide what it is they want to do with IT, to find their own application. The eight partner schools set aside a normal sized class of up to 30 students for intensive IT training. Each partner school is allocated $1 million for enhancing IT facilities and $250,000 per class per year to run the class. The program also encourages schools to organize three IT activities every academic year to stimulate interest in the subject in the school community.